All right, welcome to Declutter in a Dash. We are going to do our purses today. I am a really big purse. Well, it looks even huger here. It's like a gym bag. Um, because I do bring it to my dance class, so sometimes I have extra stuff in there. Right now, it's got a lot. You'll see what, what I have to carry around. It's insane. Um, this is my daughter's inhaler, EpiPen, but she has a spacer with her inhaler, so it's like a whole show. So get your trash bag and maybe get another bag for items that might you know, need to go to the junk drawer, or maybe you have extra hair ties. You don't need all of them in there. You can put them in your bedroom, whatever it is. Um, we'll find out what's in here. So reach into your bag of tricks and let's do it. I have a water from today that I can drink tonight. Doesn't need to stay in there anymore. I have trash. I got some trash. These are from our trip to, we went to this place called the Gaylord and it had this ice sculpture land that was nine degrees. And so I brought these in there cause I get cold so easily. I didn't use them. My hand nearly froze off though. Cause I froze off. It sounded weird, but um, because I was taking pictures and videos and I needed to not, I didn't have the um, text gloves with me. So my hand was literally like red and dying when we left. We're in there for like a half hour. Anyway, I brought these hand warmers. I did use one of them for my other hand and when I got out, but they come in packs of two. Anyway, um, I feel like I'm going to keep one in here because it's been freezing here. And sometimes I turn off my car when I wait for my daughter because I don't want to like waste gas. Gas is expensive now, isn't it? We got to save it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to keep a pile on my couch. You can't see. That is the stuff I'm gonna keep in there. This is a bag of my um, papers for my teeth. I had like a couple appointments. I have my mouth guard in here um, that was made for me. So I'm gonna put that all upstairs. That's gonna go in another room. I have a mask that I used at the doctor. That's gonna go. They actually require you to wear a mask at this doctor, which I mean, it's fine with me, but it's just, like, rare now in the, like, 80th year of the pandemic, if we're still calling it that or whatever. Um, I have a, oh, good, I need this, a uniform for my daughter receipt, and my mom's actually, I just went to my mom's today, and I dropped off um, clothes for her to return, because it's right by her house, and they are closed, like, three days of the week, and, like, every time I go, they're closed, so she lives right there, so she is going to take them, so I'm going to if I need to give her a picture of that receipt or if I have it on mine too. Oh, here's a food allergy thing that we can show to the chefs. I am going to, I'm going to keep this out because um, I want to make it into a smaller thing and combine, put the other side maybe with um, her peanut. It's just for sesame allergies. It's my daughter has allergies and it's like, a food allergy alert thing and it because like sesame people are not familiar with sesame literally everyone thinks it's soy so i have to spell it out and then these are different sesame based ingredients like hummus people have no idea hummus is made of sesame gingerly like it goes by different names benny benny seed benny benny seed sesame indicum which isn't a lot that phrase so anyway i'm going to keep that out and redo that and laminate it. Oh, I have another big mat. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put that somewhere else. Let's see, oh, we have my daughter's um, Benadryl too. Cause her, she has very high food allergies so we gotta be prepared. Got some tissues, we'll keep those in there. Oh, I've got a little, a little feminine product. We'll keep one of those in there and one to go upstairs. Y'all are going to laugh at me for this. I'm a, I have a, it's a pharmacy. I don't really need that in there, but it fits. Um, I have bee sting things. I have Tylenol. I have Pepto kids. Sometimes core, you know, kids, they get their little belly aches. And then I also have a cortisone thing and band-aids. That's my mom. Do any of you have a little mom box? 
called my mom box. Here are my glasses holder, which I just took them off because I don't need them for this. I need them for like far. Sometimes I leave them on and I forget, like if I'm doing a video after I've been watching TV or something, but I use them for TV, but we'll put them in here for now. Boom. Um, oh, this is her AvaQ. I've switched her EpiPen with her AvaQ. Um, I am going to, yeah, I don't need to be carrying both of those around, so I'm going to switch that out. I won't do that right now, but I'll switch that out tonight. Here is my wallet. Let's go in the wallets, too, while we're here. Can we get rid of anything? I still have my COVID vaccination card. Um, I actually carry around a CPR thing in case anyone has, there's a heart attack thing, too, on it, but it's like a first aid thing. Uh, I do know CPR, but I like to have it just, just in case. Um, I'm just looking through. I've gone through this pretty recently, so um, I'm not going to show you everything in there, but it's, you know, the typical things. Cards. I have some cash. I do not carry a lot of cash on me. Oh, this, I got this card. It's for this place called Fleet Feet, and I'm not going back there. I'm going to trash that. I ordered other shoes. It's like a shoe store. Oh, actually, I'm going to take this out. I have quarters, which I keep in a separate little thing because quarters I usually don't need unless I'm parking. And instead of going through my whole wallet, I have this guy for my quarters. Ain't she pretty? Oh, oh yeah. So we'll keep that. My wallet is clean. Oh, another thing of tissues. I don't need that. That can go upstairs. Oh, my. I guess it's winter. Okay. Oh, this I'm going to put in the car. So I'm going to keep that out separate. It's like a little um, card game that Cora got. So we're going to keep that in the car because she has another one. Oh, more of these. We were thinking we were going to need more. So that can go away. These are my gloves which I do keep in there. It's been so cold. that I mentioned it's been so cold. Um, this I'm going to keep. I always like to have an applesauce for Cora. Sometimes she gets hangry, and sometimes I get hangry. So keep those in there. Another mask, old mask I can put in the trash. Oh, here's a squished, a squished granola bar. And then these... Oh, and this is, I'm going to throw these out. This is like, there's barely any left in there. Um, and then the, this, I have, yeah, I'm going to keep these. So in here I have like some of my, what are they called? Rewards cards, which you can do usually phone numbers, but I have gift cards in here too for restaurants. And I used to not keep them in my purse, but I would not remember to bring them. So now they're always here, and if we are like, hey, let's go stop at Maggiano's. And look, I have a $25 thing. There we go. And I don't need that, because sometimes I'll just take my wallet out if I'm running in somewhere. So I don't want to have one of all the things. And of course, every germaphobe needs. This one is a bright Christmas morning. I'm just going to put it on because it smells so good. But this attaches on. I had switched purses. I had a different, smaller purse um, for the weekend. And it was in there. This I usually keep on the outside. Okay. And then got my keys. And this thing, I do that. So, like, if I'm carrying bags and stuff, you know, momhood, you carry things and hands and people. I love that. But that doesn't need to be in here right now. I have a, a little bowl where I keep that. And then, oh no, that can go back downstairs. We brought those card games to as an option to play at my mom's today. All right, what else we got in here? What a surprise, more tissues. That's hilarious. Seriously, like five tissue things. Oh, here's more of these. So I can put one of those back in the kitchen. And then, oh my gosh, this is a gift card I was supposed to give to my friend like forever ago. And I keep it in here. We haven't seen each other in a while, so it just sits there. 
Um, this is the directions to this. Basically, I keep the blue sack just, that's where I keep her EpiPen. I'm gonna keep that in there. And I put her, um, she has two inhalers. So there's two inhalers in there and her EpiPen is in the front. But I am gonna probably take out the EpiPen to Avicu because this is easier to use much easier to use and it even has voice activation like tells you how to use it so if you're in a state of panic because you have to use an EpiPen type thing for an allergic reaction especially if, to, if you have to use it on yourself I imagine it'd be even scarier because you're poking yourself with some big needles um, it walks you through it so it'll say once you remove it it says exactly what to do it's voice activated or whatever not activated but voice something I can't think of the word and with an EpiPen, you have to like swing out and stab it hard where this, you just put it and go Ksh! instead of having to swing it, which also is helpful. Doesn't seem as traumatic. So I'm gonna switch those out. Now she's empty, I think, except for that gift card. And there's my little, I love this little mesh, little mesh area you can see. Um, so, I'm going to put everything in here, and we'll see how full she is. I mean, I used to have the tiniest purses, and then Momhood reared its ugly head. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ed. And I'll put food in the pocket. There's my pad, lovely. Yeah. it's like it's, it's a good amount of stuff hold on let me show you that oh that's not hold on there we go all that is going to another room and then there's the trash so a good amount of stuff so doing this this is good to do every week it's again a good sunday thing just like we talked about doing those like cleaning your desktop and your emails every sunday this is good. It feels lighter. My shoulder won't be as... <sighs> Not a main. And yeah, that's that. So, did you declutter your purse? Are you someone who keeps your purse pretty organized? I did, again. Before children, I was definitely a lot more organized. Almost OCD in, like, many ways. Um, I don't... I, I shouldn't say that because it's a disorder and I'm not OCD. But I was very, very neat. Um, my car was like often spotless, you know, now my car, it's, I've gotten much better this year about cleaning it out like every week, but last year, I don't know why it got so out of hand. It was crazy. I mean, probably not as crazy as some people, but for me, I was like, what's happened? Something needs to, something needs to happen differently. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, comment, say hello and tell me what you are working on. Did you do a purse? Did you do something else? And how is it feeling? We're like over halfway, right, through the challenge. So it's like feeling that momentum every day feels so good for me. It's like just like seeing that pile right there is like, ah, oh, that's like, it's a weight lifted, you know? Like I know I'm putting that other places, but it's like it's going to be where they're supposed to be in their home. And then, you know, having the trash. It's like, oh, a little trash. It just feels like lighter and lighter like every day doing a little so good job i'm proud of you I'm proud of me and i will see you in the next video put your smooches and your deuces up and talk to you tomorrow Bye.